of the most exciting and risky EV startups out there is Zaptera, thanks to its unusual value proposition, which is a uniquely styled two-seat, three-wheel EV filled with solar panels that can travel up to 40 miles a day on sunshine alone or up to 400 miles when fully charged. Aptera has been trying to get beyond the dream stage for almost 20 years. The original company went out of business in 2011 and was refounded in 2019. A significant financial move to turn that dream into a reality was debuting as a publicly traded stock on the NASDAQ in October. Aptera fans already know every square inch of the EV specs, so this video is going to concentrate more on the financials than the auto cycle itself. But I'll mention a few nuggets here and there along the way. One of the things that makes Aptera fairly unique is that until its recent NASDAQ listing, it's been a crowdfunded company. And even the listing is unusual in that it didn't debut as an initial public offering. Instead, it did a direct listing, which means there was no big capital raise. Instead, existing shares by current stakeholders are sold to the public. Aptera said shortly before the listing, it had $75 million of committed equity financing from New Circle Principal Investments, LLC. Whether that's really enough money to get the EV into production? remains to be seen. Aptera is listed as a public benefit corporation under Delaware law, which means it is legally required to consider the interests of all stakeholders and its public mission, which it lists as advancing solar mobility. Well, that's all fine and good. Aptera lost nearly $23 million in the first half of 2025, and by June, it only had $13.1 million in cash left. That's according to Electric. So that additional $75 million doesn't leave much cushion. Meanwhile, after a brief peak stock price of $9.81, Aptera stock has struggled to stay above $8 a share. At the time of this video's recording, it was sitting below $8. Now that Aptera has joined the NASDAQ, the real financial test will likely come sometime in mid to late January, when it's expected to release its quarterly and year-end report. Investors will be watching for additional capital coming in and any signs that production might slip again. The reformed Aptera originally planned to get its EV into production in 2021. At last report, it was shooting for limited production in 2026, according to Inside EVs. But at the time of this video's posting, Aptera's website wasn't making any promises, saying production would begin, quote, as soon as possible. Price is going to be another challenge. At launch, it's expected that the first vehicles from Aptera are gonna cost $40,000, which is more than the Bolt from Chevy or Nissan's Leaf, which have both been redesigned. Aptera is also skipping traditional dealerships. Instead, it plans to sell online and establish regional service centers for maintenance. While Aptera eventually hopes to sell its solar EVs worldwide, that won't happen, the company says, until it first hits its U.S. production goals. Aptera plans to start with delivering 60 launch vehicles, then ramp production to 20,000 EVs a year, building the auto cycles in Carlsbad, California. By the way, auto cycles are three-wheeled vehicles. A current high-volume example is the Polaris Slingshot two-seater. Apteras are eventually planned to have a wide range of specs and prices, with batteries as small as 25 kilowatt hours or as large as 100 kilowatt hours, with ranges going all the way from 250 miles up to a thousand miles per charge depending on the battery size. Under ideal conditions, the solar panels on the Aptera are expected to provide up to 700 watts of power per hour. 
For those of you that want to learn more about the Aptera, I'll put a few links in the description field of this video on YouTube and on the web at evrider.tv. And if you found this video useful or enjoyed it, please go ahead and give this video a like, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss an episode of EV Rider. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you again soon.